what's going on guys Richie here today I've got a surprise for you all right guys here it is my Hellcat this thing is so sick um, I put about 3,000 miles on it right now uh, I just got some new tires uh, three days ago no four days ago now uh, I got the NT uh, 555R drag radials and these things hook very very well for under stock power right now this thing is insane uh it, it this thing is just crazy i'm so glad that i chose the hellcat over the zl1 i'm gonna get into that a little bit into this video but right now i'm just doing a little walk around of the car this is the uh what is this the red line red uh it's a tri coat uh kind of like the mustang this thing is awesome uh, now it doesn't have the interior that I said and I told everybody that I had to have, but it does have the black leather seats and the red seat belt somewhere in here. But yeah, for the it is an auto, you all can bitch all you want. Uh, but this thing is fast. Uh, and uh, I will I have owned my last manual car. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop the hood here in a second. You all see the supercharger, and right now I got the velocity, uh, the velocity stack on. Uh, it does need washed. But uh, there it is, guys. There's my Hellcat. Super, super excited uh, to have this car. I can't wait to get this thing modified for about about $3,200, $3,400. This thing's going to be making about 850 wheel horsepower. As you all can see, it has 17,000 miles on it. When I bought it, it had 14,900. I put uh, some miles on it in the past week and a half. But... Uh, there she is. There's the uh, the engine, supercharged, 707. There's the velocity stack. It's what I have on it right now. It's pretty much. They say it gains about 20 wheel horsepower with it, uh, but it, what it really does is just makes the wine just. You can't even hear the exhaust, so you can hear it's the wine. Uh, somewhere in the trunk, I have the actual B Woody filter. But, anyways, guys, hope you all. Or excited as I am, but let's get back into the commentary. All right, guys, as you can see, I finally bought my dream car. It is a 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat A10 Red Light Red, like I said in the little introduction. And man, I'm so glad I chose the Hellcat over the uh, the ZL1. This is why. Just listen. Mm, 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 mm. I love this thing. That wine is insane. Need to warm up the tires a little bit though. Uh, rocking around on the 555Rs on 32 PSI. They don't hook very well on 32, but you lower these things about 27, 28. Woo-wee! These things hook and go. These things are actually insane for, for a Hellcat with stock power. These things do really great. Uh, I'll post a picture on the screen now. That's so far on the street. That's my best quarter mile in this thing. I've only had the car for two weeks, but uh, I got my drag radials four days ago, like I said, and so far, I'm at an 11.3. Well, I put my seatbelt on to this annoying thing right here. It doesn't keep on going off because in this Hellcat, if you don't wear your seatbelt, yeah, that thing just beeps and beeps and beeps. But anyways, you know, like I said, I'm so excited to have this car. So far, my best quarter mile time is 11.3 at 125. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is uh, on this car so far. Now, that's on the street with the track app here, and this thing... And that's spinning through first a little bit because these things, uh, that's no burnout too. Uh, I did that somewhere in Mexico, but uh, that was a burnout. No burnout, uh, just straight, got, just sat there, uh, launched it at about mm, 1,000 RPMs, held the brake, and then just kind of foot launched it without uh, without launch control in the car. I actually haven't used launch control on the Hellcat yet. But hopefully we can get this thing stock in a 10 second quarter mile. That is my goal. I would love to hit a 10 second quarter mile on this car, 10.9. Uh, I have a buddy that has a Charger Hellcat uh, who actually hit 10.9. He hit 10.9 at 127, and then he ran a 6.9 and 101 miles an hour in an eight. So uh, I think we can definitely get it where it needs to be. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, we'll take just a little bit of some driver mod. Uh, I'm still on 20 inch rims, uh, no, uh, drag pack yet, but we're working on them. I mean, I do have radials on, so you can kind of consider that. But yeah, guys, like I said, you all know for a while, some people that are really close to me that do still watch my videos know that I 
have been wanting to get either a Hellcat or a Z01 for quite some time now. Uh, back three, you know, two or three years ago, I never even thought it would be possible to be able to own a car like this. But fortunately enough, God has been good to me, and I've put in the work, my wife has put in the work, and we now have one along with her 2017 Camaro SS. And uh, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just so thankful for the opportunity. I got this car for a great deal. I got full payoff for my Mustang GT. For those of you who don't know who are just now watching this video, I had a 2018 Mustang GT premium performance pack. It was full bolt on. Uh, it made right at 501 to the wheels. Now, I actually didn't get to post any videos of that because the car did, I actually had to get a new engine and it sat for a total of like three and a half months at Carrots Ford because they kept trying to argue with me and blah, 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 blah. And finally I said, you know, they wanted to just replace the heads and the cylinder walls and all this other crap. And I told them, no, that's not, that's not an option. I want a new engine because uh, there's no telling what else is done internally because the mechanic wanted to put it back together wrong, long story short, and blew up my engine. And so they were trying to fix it instead of just replacing it. But I wanted up getting rid of it. It started having transmission problems. It started slipping and things like that. And I just, I got rid of it and I wanted up getting full payoff on it. And I got a, what I think is a great deal on this car for this car at the time only having 14,000 miles on it. Uh, I paid $48.5 for the Hellcat itself, and then I got $35.232 on the Mustang on trade-in. So I think I came out pretty good. I wanted a financing for right at like $50,000. Uh, no money down. Uh, actually, I take that back. I put $1,700 down. Uh, that kind of just covered taxes. But for the most part, um, they, they didn't charge me any uh, processing fees or any uh, fees, whatever documentation fees that some dealerships want to charge you almost $1,000 for. None at all. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm super, super excited uh, to have this car. I think I'm going to be able to do some really great content for this channel and, uh, I'm not going to be posting all the time, but you know, try to stay up to date and you're going to get to watch some cool things with the Hellcat. And the fact that I'm 22 years old, I can say that I own a Hellcat and that I own, you know, a Camaro, uh, both of them is, is super awesome. We just got done putting new tail lights and stuff on, uh, my wife's car and kind of just some visual stuff for it. But, you know, this Hellcat, guys, I'm telling you, just stay tuned. I've already raced uh, 10 different cars in this thing so far. I raced a Charger Hellcat, and I put about a car on a Charger Hellcat. Granted, they had uh, a passenger with them, but, I, you know, I was pulling pretty well. Granted, I did also have the Velocity or the velocity Stack uh, that you all seen in the video. Uh, and B. Woody uh, claims that that makes about an extra 10 to 15 wheel horsepower. So, you know, there's a little bit of a horsepower difference, a little bit of a weight difference, uh, but I was able to pull about a car on a Charger Hellcat because I did really want a Charger Hellcat. Most of you all know I wanted a Charger Hellcat, but the deal that I got on this car was just too good to pass up, in my opinion. Uh, the fact that I got full payoff for the Mustang was just pretty much it, it. You know, when I went in there to talk to him, I was like, here's the deal. The only way that you are even, I'm even considering getting this is if you can give me as close to, I even told them as close as I could on payoff on the Mustang. And then they were like, well, you know, our online price is at 48.5 and, and, you know, we we're trying to, you know, we just changed it to 5,000. How about this? How about we do, we'll do 34,000 on the Mustang and then we'll do, uh, you know, we'll sell the, the Hellcat at 50,000. I was like, well, if you have a listed online for, for 48.5, I'm not taking that. You know what I'm saying? Like I won on the internet price. And uh, then, then they tried some games at first, and I told them, "All right, no thanks." And they called me. Uh, they called me back in the next day at like nine o'clock in the morning, like, "Hey, you know, you're still interested? We'll do that." I said, "Well, I want full payoff now. Like, if y'all are gonna trick me around, that's this gonna cost you money. If you want to get that car gone, then it's gonna take, it's gonna take full payoff on the Mustang." I'm like, all right, cool, come on in. So they got me in, got me approved, got everything done. My interest rates like five point four nine percent, and now my payments. Now my payments uh, went up quite a bit. Uh, compared to the Mustang, well, not quite a bit, but they actually went up uh, $101 a month uh, compared to what I was paying on my Mustang. I paid 808 a month, and I financed for 72 months at 5.49%. And so, really, I'm paying like an extra $108 a month, or yeah, no, yeah, $108 more a month than what I was paying on my Mustang. Uh, but my insurance went down $39, so it's like it kind of, you know, for like $70 more a month. I'm getting to drive a Hellcat, which is awesome because th this is this is another reason why. I'm not even floored and I'm barely throttling. Just listen, dude. There's a Shelby GT3. There's a GT500. 
let's see, let's see if we can kind of get that GT500 to race. Doubt it, but we'll see. Might not be able to catch up in time. But anyways, like I said, uh, insurance went down. I now pay for my wife's Camaro on this Hellcat, guys. I pay $223 a month for the insurance on the Hellcat and insurance on the uh, Camaro. Both full coverage, uh, $750 deductible. Um, what's my coverage? I think it's $100,000, $250,000 or something like that. Uh, but, you know, anyways. Uh, I, like I said, I think I came out ahead pretty well. Uh, even though I went from financing like right at $30,000 to almost... Well, actually, a little bit above fifty thousand uh, dollars. We're still, you know, I, I can't complain. I'm just, I'm honest to God, so excited to see what this car can do. Uh, for about thirty-two hundred dollars, uh, I can actually have this thing. Uh, I am probably going to take it to a two performance in uh, Virginia and do their stage one package at first, and then uh, what should net me around eight hundred and thirty to eight hundred and. 50 wheel horsepower but this car right now fast enough i'm i would be willing to bet this hellcat right here is probably making close it's probably making close to 660 wheel horsepower with uh, velocity on it because i'm running with cars like i said I've, I've raced some cars here lately i'm gonna try to get the videos for them uh but i'm running with like i raced a 600 uh wheel horsepower Let's see if I can catch up. I raced a 600 wheel horsepower, pro charged, 6 gen, walked in, walked in. Uh, I went, I'm, I'm door to door with a 650 wheel horsepower, pro charged, 18 car. Uh, oh man. I know I'm just kind of rambling guys, but I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am to have the content and to have this car. Uh, like I said, guys, just stay tuned. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm so excited. I hope, I hope you guys are not too mad. Some of the guys that I had that are friends were really big Mustang enthusiasts, but now, as you can see, we now have a Hellcat. So I hope you got, some of you guys aren't too upset about it, but anyways, guys, that's all I got for you all today. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been your boy Richie.